face-to-face, -face, the premise is we've got to bring back that personal touch in our digital world. Not that we shouldn't be digital. We should. Even I Twitter and have an avatar, taller, thinner, and younger than I am. But we need to bring that personal touch because that's how we connect with people. It's all about relationships. I think we have to be adept at email. We, I, even I have learned how to text. And we also have to be adept at the conversation. The one thing about emails, and there isn't a person hearing or watching this that hasn't had an email that they look and said, well, what was that about? There's no voice, there's no context, there's no, um, well, there's no facial uh, indication of what is someone meaning to be funny, are they being lighthearted? And so each has its benefits, each has its drawbacks. That's why we have to be, on a word we made up for face-to-face, multi-technolingual. We have to be able to communicate with people in the way they want to be communicated with. Well, the first step to wean yourself off of these gadgets or gizmos is leave them at home, in the office, and be without. Here's the thing I can say you will survive. I recently was speaking in Lisbon and my cell phone didn't work. For seven and a half days, the only person I could call was the front desk and ask for a cell phone. And I survived to tell the tale. What I want any reader to take away and every reader to take away from the book is, it's okay to be digital, but don't forget the personal touch. Um, I had a house guest who was 25 and she was from the UK and she said to me, I can't understand why my grandmother won't start texting me. She's 86, give her a break. So my thing is if your grandmother wants you to call, pick up the phone. If you're going on a job interview and you're expected to call as part of the interview, I want everyone to be adept in the face-to-face -face space, bring the personal touch into their life, because that's the way we build that network is when people know us. And you know one thing I heard one of the Silicon Valley boys say, by the way, Silicon Valley boy could be 55, I just want to clarify that. You can't share a virtual beer. So make the time to meet people. You know, there's something you can glean out of a conversation because it's so tangential and organic that it'll never come through a text or an email.